Okay, can you see it? I can. More left, more left. Okay. Okay, I got him now. I got him now. We're fine. Hello, Internet. My name is Type Alt, and I'm a nobody. I do not possess a PhD, nor do I have exceptional drawing skills, but I am deeply passionate about science. If you're like me, then you're probably subscribed to 60 Symbols, Veritasium, Minute Physics, Vsauce, Smarter Everyday, Number File, Vi Heart, CGP Grey, and all the other amazing scientists and mathematicians here on YouTube who are taking complex topics and breaking it down into something we normal humans can understand. They're all amazing, and you should definitely check them out. And on that same topic, I recently watched a video of Minute Earth where Henry described how Earth's atmosphere is escaping. In it, he drew a picture of the Earth with its normal magnetic field. And it got me thinking about an age-old problem that I've seen online. So horrible of a problem, in fact, that I've had to write a letter to NOAA, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, not the guy from the Bible, in the USA, to correct a problem that they had on their website. So hold on to your hats, folks, because today we're going to dive into magnetism. In elementary school, we all learned about magnets. We were introduced to the basics of magnetism. Opposite poles attract, and like poles repel. The red ends of a magnet, commonly the north ends, would much rather hang out with the white ends of a magnet, commonly the south ends. This is a concept that seems simple to most of us and it is this basic foundation that I wish to build upon today. Without getting too technical, I want to introduce you to a convention in physics. If we are to represent a magnetic field around a magnet, the field itself would be coming out of the north end and returning to the south end. If you'd like to learn more about this, ask your friendly local physicist, as I'm sure they'll happy to help. So imagine this. If you take a compass in your hand, the red end of the needle points approximately to the north end of our world. That red end, the north end of the tiny magnet that's inside of the compass, is attracted to what is basically the north pole of Earth. But knowing that opposite magnetic fields attract, then this little compass in your hand has a north end that is being attracted to the south magnetic pole present at the geographic north of our Earth. So did you catch all that? Try for a second to think of the Earth as one large bar magnet. In order for the north end of our little compass to point towards the top of the Earth, then there must be a south magnetic pole present there. If the top of the Earth had a north magnetic pole, then our little compass would flip around and the white south end would point towards the top of the Earth. So, therefore, under normal conditions, the south pole of Earth's magnetic field lies at the top of our Earth, and the north pole of Earth's magnetic field lies at the bottom of our Earth. Thus, the correct magnetic field lines would show the magnetic field coming out of the bottom end of our Earth and returning to the top. So why am I making a big deal out of this? It just pains me when I look across the internet and see people spreading false information online. Professors at the University of Bradford in West Yorkshire, geologists at Penn State University in Pennsylvania, the US government's National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, and even NASA has this wrong in two places. These top universities and governmental agencies are spreading the wrong information online and confusing students. So, what's the take-home lesson in all of this? For simplicity's sake, think about it like this. Earth's geographic north is the south pole of a magnet, and Earth's geographic south is the north pole of a magnet. It's a little different than what we may have thought at first, but that's why this world is such a special and awesome place to live.